Before flying the new electronics on Lightshadow, we wanted to first test flight to make sure it worked. The deployment electronics consists of the perfect flight strata logger CF altimeter, our servo timer 2 and a couple of batteries. We use the strato logger to detect launch and apogee and get it to record the entire flight. We're using the drogue pyro output on the strato logger as a trigger for the servo timer and the servo timer is directly connected to the deployment servo. One issue we had with the strato logger was that it constantly does a continuity check on the pyro outputs and this would trigger the timer uh, when it was powered up. Now this is not a problem if you have an electric match connected but the servo time is optocoupler sensitive enough to detect the continuity check. A quick suggestion by Perfect Flight's tech support was to add a 220 ohm resistor across the input. Now, this would allow the strata logger to pass its continuity check, but the voltage drop across the resistor wouldn't be enough to trigger the timer. We then attached the whole setup to a piece of core flute and placed it inside the fairing of one of our normal water rockets. We connected a small servo to the servo timer and attached it to the outside of the fairing. We then placed the camera above the servo motor so that we could watch the servo, what it did in relation to the horizon. Actual parachute deployment was controlled independently by another timer in the nose cone. Flight 1 was pressurized to 120 psi and then launched. After landing, we reviewed the onboard footage and noticed that the apogee was detected really late, which wasn't that good. So we downloaded the data from the strata logger and had a look at the altitude graph. As you can see, there's quite a few light spikes uh, that confuse the strata logger. Here is where it thought apogee was. We set the rocket up again and launched it. Again, in the post-flight review of the video, we noticed that the deployment would have been really late. And again, the altimeter plot revealed quite a few light spikes. When we had a look at the regularly spaced spikes on the ascent, we realized that these were occurring at the rotation rate of the rocket. The rocket did four rolls on the way up, and there were four spikes in the data. It didn't take long to figure out that it was the sun shining on the barometric sensor through the clear fairing. Although the sensor is under the board, light was still getting in from the side. The fix was pretty easy as we put black electrical tape on the fairing to block the sunlight and launched it again. This time the onboard video showed the servo motor activating right at Apogee. And the data was a lot cleaner too. Oh. Now we just had to get the electronics back from this tree and they were ready to be put into light shadow for its maiden flight. We just needed to make sure that the barometric sensor was shielded from the sun and lesson was learnt.